Hey guys, you might not recognize the background behind me. I'm definitely not in my backyard right now. And that's because uh, I'm gonna be doing something a little different in this vlog and a few to follow. My girl and I have made some drastic changes in our lives in the past few months. And uh, one of those is this huge RV that you see um, to travel across Southern Ontario. That is the beast. The first stop on our journey is the Lower Gorge Conservation Area. Uh, that's where we are now. And uh, yeah, I brought my 6 inch telescope and my 8 inch Raza, so I'm excited. We have many other stops to make on our journey, uh, but hopefully I'm able to get some good shots here at the Lower Gorge Conservation Area. Alright, so before I jump into the astrophotography, uh, I'd like to step back a bit and talk about how we got here. For the past few months, uh, Lauren and I have been planning this Southern Ontario trip with the hopes of buying an RV that would uh, knock off a few things on our checklist. Uh, one being that uh, it had to have a room for our, our new 11 month old son. Uh, two, it also had to have room for our kitty cats so they can have some space and some, some place to call their own. And yeah, I really think we found the RV that checks off all our boxes. Uh, so our next step was to begin looking for campsites to stay at for September and October and uh, we have picked out a few already. The first one that we're at here is the Lower Gorge. Uh, we booked four sites that we're going to be staying at for, for four weeks and <laughs> that's a lot of fours. And uh, throughout that time I plan to get uh, a lot of astrophotography photos as well as spending a lot of quality time with the family. This four week trip is part of our bigger plans to uh, stop renting our place in Toronto and get on the road full-time potentially for a year at least uh, But again, this this will be our, our test to see if we can live with each other and, and not rip each other's heads off But if that goes successfully, uh, we'll be on the road again and uh, Hitting up the United States and Canada for about a year or so before either finding some land to, to call our home uh, Or buying a house in general. What do you like about the lower gorge so far? Um, the sites are really large. There's not many sites that I wouldn't want to be in. That's true, yeah. We were easily able to get our RV in here, which was nice. Yeah. And all the other spots, even for tents, they're like very private mm -hmm. and nice long sites, so you could have your tent farther back. And since the school year is back in session, uh, we pretty much have the whole park to ourselves. That's always nice too, yeah. There's barely anybody here. Uh, unfortunately, we do have one neighbor, but there's not another campsite that's being occupied in, I don't know, a long while. It's just, and he's just an older man with his dog. And Lots to walk to. There's a beautiful river close by. And that river's great, nice. Great campground. We we'll definitely come back here again. Yeah, highly recommend it. And you can go tubing in the summertime down the gorge, mm. which is supposed to be amazing. Yeah. But too cold, cold for now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, maybe in the summertime if we come back. Definitely. The town is also very nice. Beautiful town full of artistic shops and. Yeah, little boutique shops. Yeah, it's very nice. All right, so now let's see how the astrophotography goes. Okay, so here we are at Allure Gorge, and uh, tonight we might actually have some good weather here. Uh, let's just get past the RV here. And uh, yeah, so since we're gonna have some good weather, I decided that it's a good time to take out the Raza telescope and try to take shots on the Heart and Soul Nebula. Um, I first wanted to shoot the Pleiades because I haven't shot that object before, um, but because of the, the moon that we're having tonight, the 80% illuminated moon, uh, it's going to make it difficult, especially because the Pleiades is really close to the moon right now. Um, so the Heart and Soul Nebula is to the northeast, which is uh, further away from the moon, and hopefully I'll have a bit more success on that object tonight. This will also be my first time doing auto guiding with the Raza 8 inch telescope. I was successful in mounting it today, which is nice, and uh, should be ready to go. Even though I am in a Bortle 4 zone right now, um, I still will be using my Celestron light pollution filter that is for the Raza 8 telescope, and that will help combat the moon that I'm uh, dealing with tonight. We're at Allure Gorge here for a week, and actually this whole week there's been nobody here at campsites. We're, we're one of the only ones, which is awesome. Uh, so that means I'm going to be using uh, our neighboring site to get some shots. There's no RV in the way, uh, there's lots of clear sky, and uh, yeah, 
that's what I'll be doing. All right, so everything is set up and we are ready to shoot the Heart and Soul Nebula. This is gonna be coming to view in about 40 minutes or so. Right now it's still behind some trees, um, but I'm polar aligned and ready to go. Now uh, you may notice that I have a monitor hanging off the side here, and that's because I don't have internet here to do team viewing, um, where I'm able to control my mount remotely. So instead I'm gonna be using this uh, seven inch monitor as well as my keyboard uh, to control the mount. I've been calling my target for the night the Heart and Soul Nebula, when in fact it's actually two different objects. Uh, the Heart and Soul Nebulas are separated by a great distance, and uh, I will focus on the Heart Nebula, and then maybe do the uh, Soul Nebula at another time. Okay. Alright guys, so... Turns out... Let me give you a second. Turns out I chose the worst spot in the uh, in the lot here. So my telescope is set up so I can see the North Celestial Pole, but uh, my object is going right up the only tree that's in view uh, to the north here, and uh, that's a bummer. If I move my telescope over four feet to the to the right or to the left, uh, I would have still been able to see the North Celestial Pole as well as this object. Um, so what I'm gonna have to do is just uh, wait until 11 o'clock or so, which is only about 30 minutes, until this object is up above that tree, and uh, then I'll be able to start taking some shots. And uh, yeah, we'll see what we get. All right guys, it's another day at the Lower Gorge. And uh, unfortunately, I wasn't successful in getting shots last night on the Heart and Soul Nebula. Uh, I tried for many hours, but uh, lots of problems arose. My first problem, which is completely my mistake, was uh, I set my telescope up where I could see the North Celestial Pole, but I wasn't able to see my object because there was one tree in the backyard that my object followed completely uh, throughout the entire night. Uh, it wasn't until about 12 o'clock be before it came past those trees and I was able to take some shots, but by then, uh, I needed to start packing it in because uh, I had to work the next day, today. Um, the other problem was my auto guiding. Uh, it seemed like uh, my right ascension was all over the charts. I'm not too sure why. Maybe it's because I, I incorrectly polar aligned. Uh, I'm really not sure. So I'm really going to fine tune those tonight and try to get that working and try to get some data on the Heart and Soul Nebula. The other thing I noticed is my mic cable broke. So. Uh, Sorry for the quality loss, if any, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to get a new microphone. <laughs> Okay, so here's how we have our trailer set up. As you can see, our trailer takes up <laughs> most of the uh, lot. Um, and where I was set up was actually the lot beside us. There's a, a nice uh, cut grass area here uh, over to the next lot. So yeah, I was set up here last night right in front of this log and uh, I had a great view of the North Celestial Pole, but that one tree completely blocked my object for the night. Uh, so what I plan to do is move my telescope from this location about six feet to the right, and that should give me a clear view of my object. Uh, I'll still have view of the North Celestial Pole, as well as the Heart and Soul Nebula coming up here. Anyways, that's the plans for tonight. Check in with you guys later. Okay, so here's the monster rig for the night. Uh, you have the Raza 8-inch uh, telescope, and I'm using the Orion 60mm guide scope. Uh, on top here I have the Pegasus uh, power unit, um, and I'm, right underneath there is my mini PC that I've been using for a few months now. 
And this is uh, what I'm currently using to shoot astrophotography. Now it's time to put this on the mount. So I think uh, the reason why I was having so much issues last night with my auto guiding uh, was because I didn't really balance my telescope after putting on the new guide scope. Um, again, I haven't used my guide scope with this setup before and I was using a balancing point uh, from when I didn't have it. So that would make complete sense as to why it was struggling uh, to keep balance. Um, I'm gonna fix that tonight by balancing it right now and then I should be good for the evening. Looks like we picked ourselves up a new friend. Meet Sammy the Celestron Slug. Sammy, looks like you've been all over my telescope lid. Okay. Alright, so, uh, I don't know if you can see this or not, but uh, the rig is set up for the night and I am capturing the Heart Nebula. I wasn't able to get both uh, the Heart and Soul Nebulas uh, into frame. I'm just focusing on the Heart Nebula right now because uh, things are going pretty well. Uh, my auto guiding looks like it's uh, improved uh, after doing some uh, balance adjustments and uh, the session is going great. Uh, I'm gonna spend a few more hours uh, collecting data and uh, yeah, let's see what we get. Okay, so it's about 12 o'clock at night and I have some cloud coverage. As you can see, nothing is visible on the screen really. Um, this is expected. I'm supposed to have cloud coverage for an hour uh, and then I should have clear skies for the rest of the night. So I'm going to wait this out and uh, then I'm going to continue collecting some data on the Heart Nebula. Alright guys, so uh, this is probably the last you'll see of me. It's about one o'clock in the morning and uh, I've already captured about an hour and a half of data. Uh, the clouds haven't passed just yet, um, but they should be passing soon. And after that I should have another three or four hours of clear skies until morning. Um, but I'm going to go and nap in the meantime. I'll come back out here in about two hours or so to see how things are doing. See how Sammy the Slug is doing as well. Hopefully the data I collect uh, turns into something awesome for the end of the night. And uh, yeah, I'm anxious to see what I'm able to get on the Heart Nebula. Um, anyways, thanks for watching, and we'll talk soon. Clear skies.